All right, Coach, a huge series win over Oklahoma Christian, sweeping the competition. I saw a tweet come out yesterday saying, you know, we're really seeing the Rams team that we're used to seeing. Just talk about your team's overall performance sweeping that series. Oh, well, we needed it. Um, you know, we played better. I thought uh, game uh, two and then game four, uh, we were real solid. So uh, that was good to see. I mean, really, probably the first time all year that uh, we've sort of played good baseball and performed at a level that that we need to perform at. So that was good to see. Um, you know, hopefully it uh, can continue. And, uh, you know, generally, uh, again, we're getting – well, we're at the halfway mark um, now, and that's sort of about the time that you, you start figuring some things out, you know, and so uh, hopefully we continue, continue that upward trend uh, as we generally do. So that's the plan at least. You know, you have guys like Clark and Guerrero who have just been really consistent for you. Just talk about what that consistency does for this program when y'all go out on the road and you need a huge series sweep. Well, Trill, I mean, goodness gracious, he's he's really had a great year and really happy for him. Uh, obviously, a guy that, that paid his dues early in his career and then, uh, you know, has uh, become sort of the, the forefront of our offense. And then really proud of Jacob because, you know, his numbers are great. But, you know, when you start off the season O oh, for a weekend, it's sort of tough to bounce back from that. And, so I think it shows you how good he is. Obviously, those two guys are huge sparks um, for us offensively and uh, hopefully continue to be. And then my last one, hitting the road this weekend, taking on St. Mary's. They're a team that's struggling. How does this team just make sure they don't go into this week of practice <clears throat> taking that team too lightly and get ready to go claim another series? I don't think we ever do that, so I don't think that's a problem. Um, you know, we know how important these games are. Uh, we know what the goal is, and you know, right now, you know, we need to go win them all. You know, but is you know, after we won three out of four uh, at Fort Smith, you know, I mean, I, again, we have a lot of new guys, and uh, you know, and, and that was great. You know, we lost game one and came back and won the last three, but I was like, just sort of let y'all know, sort of what the standard is. We're generally getting on the bus ticked off that that we lost the game, so. You know, our expectation every series um, is to go win every game. We're not generally excited. And so I think they're sort of getting that mindset, you know, because that's tough. In most places, winning a se you know, win series, win series, win series, uh, that ain't the goal here. Coach, let's go back to game one. Uh, that was a, a situation where you had to use uh, multiple pitchers earlier in the game when there was that bases loaded situation. Um, it ended up being a high scoring game where y'all came back and, and, and took the lead late. Um, other than that, it was a pretty much uh, dominant pitching performance the rest of that weekend. Uh, just talk about game one and, and, and what, what, what you had to do to, to get through that rough stretch. I'd rather not. Um, <laughs> that was one of the ugliest games of baseball ever. Um, you know, I, I don't know, maybe the conditions had a little bit to do with it. Um, but uh, I think Colby Casey uh, was the story of that game. Um, you know, uh, as you mentioned, the base is loaded. Comes in with base loaded and we got one out and I think they've already got five, um, you know, after we'd scored a couple there. Um, and he gets a dope play ball and then goes and puts up three zeros after that. And so just sort of kept them at bay, uh, gave our offense time to get back uh, and, and get the lead. Um, and then obviously, you know, just uh, a lot of back and forth. And, uh, you know, what was good was, you know, we we dropped the fly ball there in the ninth uh, up two and with an out and, uh, you know, floodgates sort of open and they get the lead. And so to see our guys bounce back uh, and then ultimately walk it off um, was really, Really, it's, it's just a good thing to see. And, and But our guys have been fighting and competing really well since about week three. So I've been happy with that. Um, and then uh, the rest of the weekend, as you said, um, pitchers were, were outstanding. And Coach, do you think experiences like that game one uh, victory are important, especially when you have a, a newer or young, young team, just because like 
playing hard and, and doing well but losing in the end is 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 kind of soul crushing so yeah. when you get that like is that important to establish that all right like we can do this yeah no i think it's always huge you generally like to have one of those earlier than than what we had um you know you generally like to get one of those in the first first two weeks um so but we got one and and so that's big and, and yes it is something that you draw on you know later later parts of the year so uh, hopefully that'd be a valuable thing for us and my last thing here coach he currently on a seven game win streak now it seems like this team has finally uh, started to, to get get their role in their groove, as you said earlier. Uh, what, what's it going to take uh, for these guys to, to keep that mentality moving forward, saying this is the standard? Oh, I, you know, I think if we just got to keep improving um, and play better baseball. Um, you know, we're still uh, minus, you know, several guys, um, and I don't see them back, you know, anytime soon. Um, so again, we sort of got what we got and got to go out there and play and just, and when we do, I hope, um, get some of those guys back, um, then I think it's just going to make us dangerous. So as I've said, sort of really all year, we're trying to hang in there, uh, and keep ourselves in position, uh, to do what we do, which is, you know, we, we generally don't lose a whole lot of games in April or May or June. And so. You know, we understand how college athletics and all athletics works. Regular season's sort of not that important. You got you got to do decent, but you know you got to do good enough to get in. But uh, you want to be the best team at the end, and uh, that's always the plan. But having said that, you can't if you don't get to the postseason. Um, you know, so but we're in good shape at, at this moment. Um, one weekend can change that. Uh, positively or negatively, but again, made up ground uh, this weekend. Um, you know, we hope to go make up some ground next weekend. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, Coach. Good, Doctor.